Sometimes, medicines, inventory items, may be purchased by cash. Egg purchase from nearby pharmacy. These inventory items must still be recorded as stocks. To do this, first cash voucher needs to be created. Go to the collections page. Scroll down and click vouchers. Cash voucher must used for any cash transactions. Specify the date of this purchase. If cash from sales is used, non-petty cash, this cash voucher's date and time are important and must be accurate so that the cash balance will be accurate. Select the time. Accurate time is important to ensure that the cash balance for every shift will be accurate. Select the staff who is doing the purchase. Select the approver as per your clinic's SOP. For inventory purchases, only drugs slash pharma can be selected as category. Tick inventory. When inventory is ticked, the receiver must be selected from this list and cannot be entered manually. If the receiver is not listed here, add the receiver under add vendors first. Enter the description of this purchase. Specify the purchase amount. Click enter to save this cash voucher. This cash voucher must first be approved, until then this cash voucher cannot be used for inventory. Once the cash voucher has been approved, go to the inventory page to record this stock. Scroll down and click receive. Select the vendor here, as saved as receiver in the cash voucher. If there is any cash voucher saved for this vendor, it will be listed here. Note that only approved cash vouchers will be listed here. Select the cash voucher from this list. Specify the date of this purchase. Enter the invoice number as per the purchase invoice slash receipt. Due date is not important for cash purchases, specify any date. Search and select the item here. Write down this batch number on the item in order to identify the batch number for saving upon dispense. Enter the quantity purchased. Pay attention to the inventory unit and make sure the quantity is in that unit. Specify the expiry date for this item. Enter the cost for this item. If necessary, specify the factor in the alternate unit. Refer adding slash receiving stock for more details on factor conversions. If necessary, enter the notes here. Refer adding slash receiving stock for more details on these notes. Scroll down and click enter to save. Now let's check how this cash purchase has been recorded. Specify the period when this purchase is done. Click Vendor Summary. This is the vendor we just saved the purchase for. Click here to show all fully paid invoices. This is the payment for this invoice as we have just saved via the cash voucher. Click on this box to see details. Payments via cash vouchers will be marked with this cash voucher mark. With payment mode automatically selected as cash. If this step of selecting cash voucher was missed, cash voucher can still be assigned in vendor summary. For vendors with unassigned cash vouchers, it will be marked with this red cash voucher. Click this to see the unassigned cash vouchers. Select the cash voucher to be assigned. Click Apply to Assign. When we list back the fully paid invoices, the invoice will be fully paid via the cash voucher. Click to see the details. This indicates that this invoice has been paid with cash voucher. That's it. You're done.